Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, so, like the name of this program, uh, we are going to look at uh, a few areas in the scripture, through the scripture, uh, that how we can, as to how we can have hope. So, many of us have lived our lives as Catholics, isn't it? Years and years going to church, uh, novenas, feasts, uh, praying the rosary, holy hours. Um, you know, we, we do so much of tradition and practices and duties and responsibilities throughout the liturgical year. We have so much that we engage in. Uh, but when we look back and see, if we go through these motions, uh, but do we recognize Jesus? Has our lives changed? Uh, most important thing uh, we need to see or we need to identify, uh, we need to find is Jesus. Uh, his presence in our lives, in every single moment of our life. So we are going to look at Isaiah 11, uh, chapter 11, verse 1. It says, A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his root, a branch will bear fruit. Uh, so Jesse is the father of King David, whom we all know. And uh, Judea, Philistia, and Azaria were at war. And uh, Azaria and Judea, uh, they were destroyed. Uh, and Jesse's royal bloodline was uh, cut off like a tree stump, as prophesied. But Isaiah is prophesying according to this word that the Savior will come from this royal bloodline. Uh, da David's generation, as, as we all know, continued, isn't it? But there were no uh, great kings or rulers or anyone significant who came from that bloodline after that. But here Isaiah is giving the people of that time hope. He's saying that even though right now it seems like it's uh, cut off like a tree stump, there is hope hope. And he's inviting them to anticipate, to look for the Lord Jesus, uh, that the Lord Jesus is coming and to continue to hold hope. So maybe today, uh, wherever you are, whatever situation you may be in, you might be feeling like you are in this tree stump situation. Maybe your sickness has crushed your life has cut off your entire future. Uh, maybe the financial strain, the stress that you are going through has put you into depression, to anxiety about your future. Uh, you might be feeling as if your entire future is very bleak uh, and you can't even see it sometimes. It could be an addiction that you are caught up in. Actually, many of us, we have more secret addictions than the obvious ones. Uh, so you might feel that I am stuck here and I can't come out of this. It could be a sin that you're grappling with, uh, that you feel that nobody can save me from this point. And you might be feeling that you are cut off from living a happy and joyful life. Also, uh, there could be a situation where your nature, your very nature, makes you feel cut off from receiving the full, uh, joyful life that the Lord is uh, waiting to give you. Maybe you are a parent, a grandparent, even a child, uh, where you feel so lonely and let down. Um, you have, maybe you have tried in your capacity, in your influence, in your connections, to work out life. But right now, maybe it's all just messed up. Uh, so actually, when I went through this, uh, I recalled uh, one of the Murunga tree and the backyard of, our, of, our, of my home, uh, a drumstick tree, if you may call it. Uh, that tree was overgrown, and it was overbearing in, in that area because it's a small area. So it was cut in such a way, actually a very small stump only remained. And I held out hope 
for a long time because I thought the tree was gone because it was so uh, cut down so badly that I actually thought it's not going to grow again. So when we look at Luke 10 verses 23 and 24, uh, actually here Jesus is sending his disciples on ministry and they have come back because they have performed so many miracles uh, and they have chased demons and they are telling Jesus of all that happens. And actually, if you look at these disciples, these apostles of Jesus, they're such simple, ordinary people like you and I. And Jesus, uh, because they spent time with Jesus, because they had the presence of Jesus, because they carried his word, they were able to do all these things. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So in Luke 10, 23, 24, like I said, Jesus is speaking to them privately and saying, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see, but did not see it. And to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Why are they able to do all this? Because the presence of Jesus is working in them and through them. They recognize Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Uh, so when we seek our Lord in our daily life, when we fast, when we pray, when we worship, when we spend time with Jesus, Jesus reveals himself to us. And it is then that the shoot will spring out of that tree stump. It is then that that branch will grow and bear fruit. And out of that desperate, hopeless situation that you are in right now, hope will spring up. A way is made. A solution is given. A healing comes about. Just like that uh, little stump, Murunga tree that I spoke to you earlier about, after one and a half months, a tiny shoot came out. And that's what the Lord can do with you and I. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So Jesus is inviting us to seek him. Not tomorrow, but here and now, today. Uh, let's not let the rest of this liturgical year go by with our busyness with other things. Let's find Jesus in our daily lives. So how do we respond to this call of Jesus? Uh, Matthew eleven twenty seven gives it to it be us beautifully. It says, All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father. And no one knows who the Father is except the Son. And those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So being connected to Jesus, uh, God through Jesus, is the key. Uh, to be the branch, because he is the vine and we are the branches. He is the head and we are the body. When we are connected to God is when we grow and bear fruit. But we are very busy, isn't it? We have everything under the sun to take care of, but we don't have time for Jesus, for God. Uh, so today... Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart and inviting you to come, to spend time with him, to open your life to him. And then the Holy Spirit uh, will reveal to you the heart of God. St. Catherine of Siena, we know, is a doctor of the church and uh, she's a mystic of the church. Why? Because she has a, had a deep attentiveness uh, to the Spirit of God. Uh, her life actually was full of suffering and pain. But she had a joy that went beyond understanding, that she shared with everyone else. So I, have, uh, I remember a, a young adult who was studying to be a doctor. She was sharing with me that what she's studying is that her skill, her knowledge, her ability is what will heal the patient that she's attending to. But every day she reminds herself, Lord, it is not I, but you who give me the revelation how to treat my patient, how to handle, how to minister to this patient. And there are 
tree stump situations there as well. Why sometimes a patient or two dies, passes away. So what, when she thanks God because she had the grace, she was given the grace by God to say a word of comfort, to pray with that dying patient. So that's how we can minister. Like those apostles went out and did miracles, we can do it in our day-to-day -day life when we give God uh, the first place and we seek God on a daily basis. And also another small example was we went to a detention center some time back, a lot of our young youth uh, from the Risen Lord community. And uh, it was a very hopeless, I would say a tree stump situation, where those children had no hope for life, no hope for future. And we were not allowed to uh, share, uh, to speak about Jesus, to pray or to sing a hymn. But the children who were already experiencing the presence of the Lord shared love, played with them, uh, spoke to them. And when they were coming back, they were so sad to allow them to go because they experienced God's presence, uh, God's love through those children. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So uh, I invite you, brothers and sisters, let's close our eyes for a moment. And let's ask the Lord uh, to give us hope in all our tree stump situations right now. Lord Jesus, above Father, Holy Spirit, Lord, there are so many areas that I feel that I'm cut off right now. So many failures, desperations, disappointments, hopeless situations in my life. But right now, Lord Jesus, I choose to seek you today, to open my heart, to open my life to you today. Lord, I want to be connected to you. I am the branch and you are the vine. So that connected to you, I will find hope in my most hopeless situations. And your life will flow through me and into me and through me to others. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.